it's me Sorbet and today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of fencing. Woo yippee! Fencing is actually just easy, it's just that people can't see it. And I'm going to be showing you all the basics on fencing. So let's get into it. Um, I'm just creating a server before we start. Also, you might be asking how am I doing this? I just exported my audio. I'm just reacting to my own video. And then I'll be tell explaining everything. Yeah, but it's just me. Okay, you get it? Okay, now I just need to do Grand Garage and boom. Joined. Now, now the basics of fencing, it's a bit challenging it's not really challenging but it's just that people can't see like they think it's so hard and confusing it's actually so easy like I can make a, a, an entire maze okay we're just gonna do medium because I don't know my choice I guess okay now we're in the game so we're gonna first off start with something um we're gonna start first off start with like the physics whatever things um so we're gonna like fencing it takes a lot of practice and it's easy like like most like most people would just um block the path and of course people will scream at the player like this like, like they would take their own fences and they would place like a literal idiot like that this 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 now let me just spawn a slime real quick i also got another pc because i suck at taking care of my own stuff slime wow there's so many slimes i can't believe there's no regular slime well, that just sucks. So, um, so we're just gonna spawn a slime and then, then like that. Now you'll see it doesn't, it's not like dumb enough to go give up, but it's actually gonna break it. There's me asking, that's just two, you can just play, also place another fence so it can just go forward through it but like like it'll it'll go to the opposite side like it will it will still break the fence like see like blocking won't do anything now if I just place more fences around it so it can go next over the fence that won't work because of course it will continue breaking through the fence yeah, it's like every time, like players, like usually, um, it's usually when it, you um make a fence, it go usually go in its exact direction. It won't change its direction or anything. It would keep on going, and even if you max your fences, and you think that it's not gonna break it. It's going to take so long on breaking. You just made your worst mistake of your life. Just watch. Um, come on, let me just break it through it. Let me just max all of them. And let me just place a single fence and max it. And then, boom, I max it. Now, let's just spawn Slime King. And you'll see what, you'll see what I mean. Like... Like, literally, a blocking won't do anything. Um, King Slime. Yeah, can, I spawned King Slime. And then, look. Of course, it's just gonna try reaching to the defend. And it, it won't affect the fence at all. Bruh. They need to increase his speed. He's so slow, man. He need, he deserves to be something new. At least he has he, at least his electricity form is better than his stupid ugly form. Look, look, look. Even 
a 10,000 HP boss can still break through a max defense. Like, if you want to do Blast Take Barrage hard, it would still break through the fence. That's the. You should also stay aware of that. I just call this the block. No, like, you should always try avoiding the block. It's the worst thing ever possible you can imagine. Now, second, we can start making something else, which is, um, we're not gonna, this is the second, this is the third one, but we're just gonna make, you should also avoid these corners, you should delete the corners, because it's also kind of a waste of mana, and, yeah, some people would also place random fences everywhere, which is also kind of stupid, yeah, um, so, we're gonna first start off with the cake. Like, and the reason I call this the cake is because it has, like, it has layers, and it's, like, one of the easiest ways to make, um, like that. I just called this the block. This is the block. His name is the block. Well, of course, I showed you what the block is. And I'm gonna show you the second one. Which I also just told you, which I wasn't supposed to. I should get a microphone, man. Um, okay, I'm placing. Okay, I'm like. Usually, this is called the straight line. This is the second one. This is called the straight line. You can win with the straight line in so much low ways. Yeah, this is most likely used in showcases like that. Like. Burke, whatever his name is. Uh, so I'm not trying to make fun of her name, but uh, it's that's that's what many showcasing YouTubers do, and making like, or you could just do block. As this is now, uh, I call this one is called the cake. I call it the cake because it's it's technically with layers and. And it's kind of um, satisfying. <laughs> Why am I? I'm just making random names for some reason. Yeah, so this is called a cake. And the cake, the cake is a bit um, weird. Next off, he's gotten um, Zabli Zoo. I'll just call him the Zabli Zoo. Zabli Zoo. Yeah, but all you just gotta do is just make a straight line and just bop, beep, wait, no, not like that. Bop, boop, bop, whatever. Beep. Yeah, like that. And, uh, and yeah, that's how it works. Now, now, if we, um, wanna spawn a mob, actually, never mind, um, we're just gonna spawn a mob and then what am I doing here? Um, yeah, it go like that, and then, and it will try making it to the exit. Yeah, so that's the whole point of raid maps. You should, you, it's basically like you're making your own pass, and people think that, oh my God, raid maps are such a waste of mana. We shouldn't, do we shouldn't do raid maps. I already got insulted because I said raid maps are bad. Raid maps are, are good. I meant. And they said, they disagreed and said, they, they did alien attack, man. They're like, who would, who has such a peanut-sized brain of doing a uh, skull temporary mod with, um, with a bunch of, um, like, in such a low map. They, it was, like, six bosses and alien attack. Next off, we've got... Next off, uh, I think we're just gonna... I'll make uh, another one. His name is um. Wait, give me a second. Yeah. Usually, you should always keep keep the fences in one area because sometimes you can like make um like you can make like really um. It's like it will get out of the range. It will hit the damage. It hit the enemy less, and it it might cause you to lose in the game. 
you serious? Okay. okay. Next. Next, we've gotten the Zibbly Zabbly Zoo. I know. I, yeah, this is the this is the layers of the cake. This is the first layer, second layer, third layer of the cake. That's what cake is mostly used in. Or you can do it like this. Okay, a long zabbly zoo. Another long zabbly zoo. And, an, and another tiny cakes. I, I don't think I've explained what the zabbly zoo is, but it's basically zabbly zoo. Yeah, also try your best to not. Try your best to like um, make a long fence, especially in higher level the maps, like Blast Tank Barrage. And next off, we we can also it's just this one is also used in um, raid uh, facility frenzy. I'll just call this Tetris because it's kind of like. A worm. It's like kind of looks like the icon on Tetris, but yeah, I just called this the Tetris. Next off, next off, we've got another one, which is also more stupid. This is also called the long, even longer, tallest Zabli Zoo. I'm just making a lot random names for some reason. You guys can make your own names. I don't know. And then we've got an. And yeah, next off, we've got the longest Zabli Zoo. Um, I guess that's it for now. I feel like fencing, it might be too much. And, uh, well, this is done for it. I'll explain all these f three other um, raid builds that we've explained. But right now, well, this might be too much for me to edit. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. And you should also stay amazing, like everyone else. But we should also, I'll also stay you, make you all notified on which one, which, which patterns you should also use because Grand Garage doesn't have like a much fencing. It has, it's a really large area to fence in, but like. I'll show you other patterns I use in other raid maps. I'll show you soon. But also, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in a few other videos while I'm just playing with Lampy for some reason. Because I got, I just realized how to get Lampy and, it, and it's just nice. You know, get me. I guess I'm not funny at all. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna see you in the next video. Um, should I just play with Lampy or something? Yeah, we should. Yeah, I'm just gonna, um, use, I'm just gonna fence a bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna explain all these after, like, a few more days. Because I hate, I hate editing so much, and it's kind of fun and boring at the same time. And, yeah, you might already know what all these two do all these three do but I don't think you know about much about the tower but tower is pretty simple too but I'm just gonna make another episode on this and I'll t show you more patterns too anyways be sure to subscribe because I work really hard on these videos too but I I will see you in the next video um bye also Lampy sleeping if you want to know because he's excited to be in the next episode so you should also st also stay aware of that